common adjective and preposition combinations from EspressoEnglish.net. Adjectives are words used to describe a person, place, or thing. For example, the tall man in the red shirt is a friend of mine. We drove along a quiet road until reaching a small town. I'm reading an interesting book. The words tall, red, quiet, small, and interesting are all adjectives. Prepositions are words used to connect two ideas or to demonstrate the relationship between two concepts. Examples of prepositions in English include at, in, on, for, to, with, and from. There are many cases in which adjectives are combined with prepositions, but there is no rule stating when to use each combination. As you read and listen to more English, you will become more and more familiar with how these adjective-preposition combinations are used. Here are a few of the most common combinations of adjectives and prepositions in English. At, surprised at, angry at, good at, terrible at. For example, I'm surprised at how fast my students are learning. My mother is angry at me because I forgot her birthday. Jamila is good at songwriting and painting. He's terrible at math. He failed the class twice. Of, proud of, afraid of, fond of, full of. For example, you practiced a lot and gave a great performance. I'm proud of you. Jewel is afraid of swimming in the ocean. The kids are very fond of the puppy. This means they like and love the puppy very much. The mall is always full of teenagers on the weekend. With, satisfied with, busy with, fed up with, associated with. I wasn't satisfied with the customer service at the bank. We've been working overtime lately because we've been busy with a new project. I was fed up with my boyfriend's lies, so I ended the relationship. Fed up with means I was tired of and annoyed with this situation. There are many health risks associated with smoking. In, disappointed in, skilled in, interested in, involved in. For example, the teacher was disappointed in the performance of the class. She was highly skilled in physics and chemistry. Giovanni is interested in classic English literature. Marlene is very involved in volunteer work. Four, known for, good for, bad for, excellent for. For example, Brazil is known for its wonderful music and friendly people. Chocolate and red wine are actually good for your heart. Looking at screens all day is bad for your eyesight. Playing memory games is excellent for improving your brain function. Two, married to, friendly to, similar to, rude to. For example, he's married to an Australian woman. Everyone I met on the trip was friendly to me. The movie is very similar to the book. The little boy was punished after being rude to his grandfather. Are you a more experienced English student looking for a challenge? Check out the Advanced English Grammar course available at EspressoEnglish.net. This course will help you master the advanced details of the English language so that you can take your English from good to great. The lessons also include personal feedback on your written English. Visit EspressoEnglish.net, click on Courses, and check out the Advanced English Grammar course.